Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Marsala Estefi Makaminan from Pusri Senior High School Palembang. I respect all of the competition committee and every people who watch this video. Today, we are still in the same state of the COVID-19 pandemic as last year. We have gone through many things during this pandemic and there have been many ways to cure COVID-19. But today, I will deliver a speech about ensuring e-education as the best platform during COVID-19. But before we start the discussion, do you know what the coronavirus is? Coronavirus or COVID-19 is a new type of coronavirus that is transmitted to humans. This virus can attack anyone, baby, children, adult, the elderly, pregnant woman, and breastfeeding mothers. Many victims have fallen because of the deadly virus. Not infrequently, the victims are our own family, our friends, and even our neighbors. All activities that are usually are now is starting to be stopped and starting to be online activities to avoid COVID-19. But there are still people who break it. Therefore, the corona number is getting worse and the impact of the corona number is very much especially an educational impact, economic impact, employment impact, and political impact. This impact makes people even more confused about their life needs. Many people are let off from work due to COVID-19. However, the government is also provide basic necessities for people who need them. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a huge impact on education during the pandemic. And then came many e-education and e-learning platforms that we use for teaching and learning process. Before continuing the discussion, do you know what e-education is? E-education is educational system or concept that utilizes information of technology in the teaching and learning process. An electronic e-learning can be applied by the form of website that can be accessed anywhere. Surely, we as a student use several platforms based on students' and teachers' needs. For example, one, Zoom and Google Meet. This application is for explaining the material by showing a PowerPoint on a search screen. Two, Telegram or voice conference. This application is for explaining the material without giving a PowerPoint or search screen. 3. Google Classroom. This application is for collect assignment and also usually get immediately if we get a new task. 4. Qualitifa. This application is held out for exams during the pandemic and the test scores can be automatically listed. As for other e-learning that is used for students to learn independently or outside of school, from free to paid, for example, 1. Brainly, this application is for ask questions which are directly answered by the other's users. And you can also have someone question from Brainly. 2. Kanda, this application is for ask questions which are directly answered by teaching assistant from application itself. 3. Photomap, this application is to find answers about math by taking or scan a photo. For one guru, quizzes, and Zenus are paid application if you want to subscribe. This application is the form of video learning, and the video learning give an animation so that students don't get bored to watch it. Nowadays, it is very easy to find e education and e learning platforms. In my opinion, as a student, this application is really helpful for us who follow online schools. And there are also have a benefit or point of online schools during the pandemic. First, student is getting more in the family of learning. The student study alone at home and look for answer or material by themselves. Second, prevent ourselves to COVID-19. Avoid ourselves to crowded places and stay at home to study. Third, supporting our government policy in the pandemic era. The government is ordered to people to stay at home and do PPKM or Enforcement of Retention Community Activities in Indonesia. See the various innovation made by the government, school principals, and teachers. This must be appreciated. Pandemic is not over yet, but the spirit of learning cannot be stopped. Education is must be continued and the quality must be maintained. 
That's all I can say today. If there are a mistake in the word, I apologize properly. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.